Well, you can see the how smoky it is here in West Washington. Can't see the green on the trees. It's all foggy from the smoke. And it stinks. Got ash falling down from eastern Washington, all the way over here to western Washington. It's a boat rental place. They rent sailboats, looks like. We're in uh, Superdale. This is the waterfront here. It's got a nice little park. On the other side, it's got like a playground for the kids. It's got some little shops down here. And this is the dock. They went, they went, it looks like kayaks or something on that dock. They didn't have that before. Yeah, we used to bring our boat out here. We even spent the night out there one time on our boat. It was a lot of fun. We just kind of docked out there in the middle. You can see it's uh, still smoky here. It was clear yesterday. It was, yeah, it was clear yesterday, and today the smoke came back, so. Yeah, yeah but this is a pretty nice park. <laughs> We just we brought lunch down here and ate, and so now we just let the dog look around. Huh, Sophie? Looks like these uh, boats can't come in yet. They're waiting for the tide to come up because they're kind of just kind of stuck out there until the tide comes in. Well, it's kind of interesting afternoon yesterday they uh an old world war one or two world war one i believe uh mine was afloat out here in the bay down below from where we're at it must have been underwater for all these years and uh the chains that were holding it down probably corroded and it came to the surface or, or whatever was holding it down uh, I'm sure it didn't float in from <laughs> you know out from some other country or something just, I think they they mined their per certain portions of Puget Sound keep uh, submarines out or enemy vessels and stuff so they pulled it out into a, an area and detonated it that's what all of those helicopter, or that helicopter that we was taping that was... EOD put some yeah. explosive charges on it and kabooey, blew it up. So that... I'm sure, I'm sure they'll go down and get some fragments off the bottom and investigate it more. Yeah. So people were told to stay away. That was probably about two miles from our house. Was that... How far? Two miles? Yeah, probably about that. Yeah. yeah. We just live up the hill from it. Um, we used to go fishing out in that area all the time, you know. We had yeah. a big 32-foot boat, you know. <laughs> yeah. Kind of scary now. <laughs> so that was a news helicopter that we were taping. They were watching it all go down. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they got it blown up. And Old ordinances that they maybe yeah. haven't found yeah. where they landed them out, you know. Well, you live in a Navy town, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, so I thought I would explain what the helicopter was we were taping, so. The big, big round mine with spikes on it. So. Yeah, it had spikes on it. Everyone's safe, it's good. Submarine or ship hit it and kaboom. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I saw well, it. I saw it and offered. then invited him to come. Family get together. Having a barbecue and just cooking hamburgers. And then go make the big money. Got Ron and Sharon. And then you got the dog lady. <laughs> the dog lady. <laughs> All the chihuahuas gather to mama when she comes over. <laughs> yes, they always attack mom when there's she comes Tave. But Taco always gets to be held first. Well, he it's almost eating time. Alright. Well, <clears throat> After I replaced the, well, during while I was replacing the 
the gearbox on my slide on the other side, I had noticed that the wall right here, they used some short screws. There they are right there. <clears throat> and what they did, they put the wall on, and it looks like they stapled it. And then they slammed the screws in there. Well, the screws were kind of short. And on this side, it wasn't bad. But on the other side, in the back, what happened was <clears throat> they stapled the wall to the, look like half inch plywood or, or pressure treated wood. And then slammed the screws in, miss, totally missing the wood. So after a while, when the, the staples worked their way out, well, then I had a then I had a gap underneath here between here and the plywood in the inner wall. <clears throat> so I'll show you. Okay, this is on my slide on the other side. You see how far off it is? The plywood, the center of the plywood is down that far. It's about an about an inch off. So they stapled it, slammed the screws in to a smaller plywood. <clears throat> And it just worked their way out using short screws. So I had to drop it down this way. Got longer screws. And I put long screws in. So I'm going to venture to say, see right there? See, there's the plywood underneath. See? It's... So what I'm going to do is eventually I'm going to I'm going to replace all the screws and uh, with longer screws. So they... This won't happen where the where the wall comes away. You don't want that. <clears throat> Even though it's when it's in, you're not going to get water in it. But with the slide out, I got to reseal up here and and everything so water don't get down on top of the screws and stuff or into the inside. So that'd be my next chore. So yeah, I got them screws done. I got to recock it. <clears throat> this is a. 2015 Crossroads uh, SRRL 32, 30, 36 feet overall. But you know, over time we're finding little things wrong. That at least if we trade this one here in or sell it and get another one, <clears throat> we'll know a lot more to look for. So yeah, if you're buying the trailer. Take your time. It doesn't matter. You can be there all day during your walkthrough. Just check everything out. Our Have favorite dinners. Scrap fajita. <laughs> yep. The old, the old uh, Azteca, now La Costa, I think it is. It's still Azteca, but they just changed its name. But it's still the same good food. So we're... We're enjoying ourselves today. Animal lady. Got the dog on her lap. Got Charlie behind her. Got Joe right here. And this is just about an every night occurrence. Joe likes to bite. <laughs> and so we don't like it, so he bites. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bremerton to Seattle Ferry. There's uh, shipyards, that's where our son works at. And seven laws work there too. Yeah? Lots of fun riding that ferry. You can, you can either walk on, go to Seattle, or you, or you could take your car. It's about, a, it's about an hour ride, which isn't too bad. Some nice houses down here on the water, huh? Across the water over there is Port Orchard. Yeah. Pretty nice down here. It's a good sized ferry. Hey, we need to take another ferry ride. Yeah. We need to go to Pike Place Market before we head south. Go to Crab Shack. Yeah, the crab shack, that'd be good too. So, yeah, we're pretty lucky to have a ferry here.
this is what we're doing. We're playing bingo. <laughs> Ladies night out. And I wonder who won already. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Hold on, I'll show you. Next number? Yep, that was me. I won. <sighs> okay, so we had a little bit of a change of plans. We're leaving for Arizona a month early. Well, actually, we're leaving. Uh, we had to be there a month. Two weeks early. But we we have to be there a month early. Yeah, yeah, we have to be there a month early. So we're not getting our two weeks in Vegas, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. We get three days in Vegas. Okay. So uh, we we decided we're gonna try camp hosting. That's something that we've always wanted to try, see if we like. That was always been in our plan. We just haven't done it. And so Mike got a job being a gate guard at a. Uh, Resort, at, uh, so we're not going back to the same place we were at last year. We're going to be at uh, Rock Shadows in Apache Junction. Yeah. So we're leaving tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow. So we're we're packing up, getting ready to head out tomorrow. We're going to be there on um, October first. We're going to be there. So. so yeah. We'll, we'll we'll do videos on the way where we stop at for a couple. And we usually drive about three fifty. And then stop for a couple of days, and then drive another 350. It'll take us like four days to get there. Yeah. So we're picking up all of our, all of our uh, inventory, cleaning out the storage shed today, and we'll be leaving in the morning. Say goodbye to the kids today, and uh, we'll see you on the road.